everyone this is Vinita and welcome to hopeful turns in today's video I'll be sharing with you the pattern for this amigurumi teddy now this is a very small amigurumi so it will not take much time it's a really quick make uh, and it's like a very simple pattern so if you're someone who is just getting started in amigurumi you can give this pattern a try uh, if you want, you can use this as a keychain. So I have added a key ring here. So you can make a very cute little uh, keychain out of this. Uh, I'm also planning to do a part two where I'm hoping to make the entire body. So when I'm done with that, I'll update the link in the description box. So if you're interested, you can check that out. Now let's just start with the supplies first. So for the supplies here, I have used some DK weight cotton yarn. It's a light worsted weight yarn. And with that, I have used a size D or a 3.25 mm crochet hook. Now you can use any weight yarn, uh, but try to use a hook size smaller than the recommended hook size. Usually for this yarn, I use four or 4.5 mm crochet hook, uh, but to make this, I have used 3.25 so that the stitches are really tight and the stuffing don't show up. So that's why you have to use a smaller hook size. Apart from that, you'd require a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, uh, you might require a stitch marker and some filling. This is the fiber fill. Um, and for the eyes here, I have used a 6 mm safety ice. Apart from that, uh, you might require some scrap yarns in white and black color for the nose and mouth part. So these are the supplies that you would require. Now if you are ready, we can start. But before that, a small request. If at any point in the video you like what you see, please do not forget to press on the like button. And if you are new to my channel, please do consider subscribing. And if at all you're making any of my patterns, please do tag me in your pictures. I'll, I'll leave all my social media handles in the description box. So let's just get started. So we'll start this pattern by making a magic circle first. So to make a magic circle, you take your yarn and then loop it around your finger like an X. Once you have that, take your hook, pass your hook through the loop that is there on your finger and then pull your working yarn through. So this here is your magic circle now if you want some more help with the magic circle you can click on the link that is coming up here i have a very detailed tutorial on how to do the magic circle okay so we'll start round one so we'll, we have started with the magic circle after that make one chain stitch chain one and then put eight single crochet into the magic circle so we're going to put eight single crochet so this is my first single crochet one like that I'm going to make total of eight single crochet this is two again insert your hook pull up a loop you have two loops yarn over and pull through both this is my third single crochet I'll make eight three four five six seven and one more eight so round one we are having eight single crochet I'll just pull on this I'm not completely closing it I like to close it once I'm done with round two so we have eight single crochet we'll move on to round two and for round two it is going to be an increased round so what you'll do is we'll put two single crochet in every stitch okay so this is my first stitch this was the chain one just ignore that go into the very first stitch here and put two single crochet so this is one and in the same stitch make another single crochet two so that is what an increase it putting two single crochet in the same stitch at this point i like to mark the start of the round come to your next stitch this one here again put two single crochet so this is one and in the same stitch make another one like this i'll just complete this pattern making two single crochet in every stitch around and once you finish this you will have 16 single crochet so i'll just finish it and meet you at the end of round two all right so here i'm at the end of round two i have a total of 16 single crochet we will move on to round three now the pattern for round three is 
you make one single crochet and then an increase so one two one two is the pattern that we'll follow so here into the very first stitch here make just one single crochet and into the next one put an increase that is put two single crochet into the next stitch so this is one and in the same stitch make another single crochet don't forget your stitch marker so i have now made a total of three stitches okay and i'll just continue making the same pattern one single crochet followed by an increase so one single crochet and in the next stitch this one make an increase that is i'll put two single crochet one and in the same stitch another one so continue making this pattern making one single crochet followed by two single crochet one two one two and i'll join you at the end of this round and once you finish this you will have a total of 24 single crochets so here i'm at the end of round three and i have 24 single crochet at this point if you want you can just pull on this end and close the magic circle completely okay so we'll start round four now the pattern for round four is you'll make one single crochet one single crochet and an increase so one one two is the pattern that we'll follow so we'll start that so into the first stitch just make one single crochet in the next stitch also just put one single crochet i'll just mark my first stitch before moving forward okay so you have one single crochet one single crochet and then you make an increase so in this stitch i'm going to put two single crochet one and in the same stitch another one so this is the pattern that we will follow for this round we will make one single crochet one single crochet and an increase so one in this stitch also just one single crochet and in the next stitch i'm going to put two single crochet so just follow this pattern and i'll join you at the end of this round and once you finish this round you should have a total of 32 single crochets so here i'm at the end of round four and i have now 32 single crochet now we move on to round five now round five is just going to be a normal single crochet row that is you just make one single crochet in every stitch there are no more increases so we'll start that so i'm just going to put one single crochet in every stitch around and at this point do not forget to mark your stitches otherwise it can be quite a mess so just mark your stitches the first stitch of every round so i'm just placing one single crochet in every stitch around no more increases all right and once you finish your round five you'll again end up with 32 single crochet and you're going to repeat round five the exact same pattern of round five up to round 11 so from round five all the way up to round 11 you're going to put one single crochet in every stitch and in every round you will have 32 single crochets all right so i'll just finish this and i'll meet you at round 11 11 so just make one single crochet in every stitch so here i'm at the end of round 11 and this is how this looks so far uh, now there are three more rounds to finish off the head but uh, before we finish off the head part uh, we will make the nose and the mouth and then we'll finish off the head so i'm just keeping this aside and we will first work on the nose part okay so this is still round 11 now for the nose part i'm going to take white color yarn and here again we are going to start with a magic circle so make your magic circle first and chain one so starting with magic circle chain one for round one i'm going to put six single crochet into the magic circle so this is one two three five and one more six so we are starting with six single crochet okay and then for round two it's an increase so just go ahead and put two single crochet in every stitch so starting with the very first stitch this is an increase round 
put two single crochet in every stitch around so you'll end up with 12 single crochets so two stitches is going in the first stitch like this I'm just going to put two stitches in every stitch around So here I have finished making two single crochet in every stitch and I have now 12 single crochet. So that's all for the nose part. At this point I'm going to cut a long tail end because we need to stitch this to the stitch this nose part to the head. So just leave a long tail so as to stitch this up. Okay. And I'll just take it out. You can just pull on the other end to close the magic circle. Okay. Next, we will do the mouth part. Okay. So, for that, I am taking some black color yarn here. And this we will join later when we are um, stitching up on the head part. So, what I will do is, I will first of all make a small V kind of a thing. So I am planning to make a V and just one line with the black color yarn. So okay, go to the very center and come out. Again, I'll take one, two, three, four, four stitches apart. I'll again insert the needle just below this V, and with this, I will complete the V part. So, go into the center again, pull it out. like this okay and then there are too many yarns here okay then down below I'll go almost at the center find a point think this point secure yarn out and come back to the center like this now what I'll do is I'll go back and forth and cover this entire region so you just have to go a couple of times up and down and just complete this full area so I'll just do that so here I have uh, covered the whole V section and this is how this looks uh, now before we stitch this to the head if you see here the circle is not really quite even so if you see there is like a real big jump here so we'll just straighten that up so what we'll do is uh, we will just find the this was the last stitch just before we finish this we'll go into the second last one here so I'll go from behind like this into the second last stitch it's just to give a much cleaner finish that's why I'm going like this and then go to the stitch the very last one which was incomplete or which we completed go there like this and then pull it so that will give another stitch and it will kind of even out that circle so this is how this looks okay now this part is done now we stitch this to the head part so this was the head uh, I just like to keep it towards the back side where we are doing it come to the, any other point we'll stitch it up here okay so like this we are going to stitch up so you can just go around the circle and stitch this up 
to take one stitch at a time it will be very easy because this is an open one we have not stuffed it in so stitching up the head nose to the head part will be quite easy just go through one stitch at a time like this so I'll just go around one stitch at a time and stitch up the nose to the head so here I have attached the nose to the head part um, you can just make a knot before finishing this off so I'll just make a small knot so that everything stays in place okay so you can just keep this the extra yarns you can just keep it inside we will use it as stuffing so the nose part is done we will attach the eyes also here now itself so just one or two stitches apart I'm just going to poke my eyes so might be a bit tight so I'll make a hole before I can push this in and I'll attach my eyes here So here we have fixed the eyes, um, the nose and the mouth part all are done. Uh, now we'll finish off the head. Okay. So we were at round 11. We will start round 12. Now the pattern for round 12 is you'll make two single crochet and then make a decrease stitch. So if you don't know how to do a decrease, I'll just show you in a minute. So we'll start round 12. So what we'll do is we'll make two single crochets first. So this is one this is my second single crochet one single crochet each in the two stitches uh, i'll just mark my stitch here okay so we have made two single crochets now we'll do a decrease uh, for a decrease we are going to use the next two stitches and i'm going to do a invisible decrease so i'll show you how to do it so insert your hook into the first stitch only in the front loop okay then you turn and twist your hook and insert your hook into the next stitch the front loop only like this all right after that you yarn over and pull your working yarn through the first two loops like this and then yarn over and pull through these two loops so this is your single crochet decrease stitch I'll show you once more so we'll follow the same pattern once the decrease is done again you make two single crochets this is one and here is my second one then i'm going to do a single crochet decrease a stitch so insert your hook into the first stitch only the front loop you twist your hook and then insert your hook into the second stitch the front loop only yarn over and pull through these two loops sorry only the first two loops okay i'll just show you once again sorry okay so into the front loops of the two stitches you insert your hook yarn over pull through these two loops yarn over pull through the last two loops so this is your decrease like this you can just go on repeating the pattern make two single crochet and then do a decrease stitch now if you find making this invisible decrease very difficult you can do the normal decrease also single crochet decrease that also can be done so I'll just finish off this pattern and join you at the end of this round so here I'm at the end of round 12 and once you finish round 12 you should have a total of 24 single crochets all right we will move on to round 13 now the pattern for round 13 is you make one single crochet and then you make a decrease stitch so we'll do that so one single crochet 
and then we will make a decrease so we are going to use these two loops the next two stitches front loops only so insert your hook into the front loop of the first stitch then just twist and insert your hook into the next front loop yarn over pull through the two loops again yarn over pull through the last two loops so this is your decrease stitch so you can just go ahead and complete this pattern as well so you make one single crochet and then a decrease so this is one single crochet and then I'm going to make a decrease using the next two stitches okay and once you finish this uh, you should be having a total of 16 single crochets so here I'm at the end of round 13 and I have now 16 single crochet at this point we can just start filling the fiber fill so you can add the stuffing at this point so just stuff the head with the stuffing so here I have added in the stuffing now we'll do one more round so round 14 is just going to be a decrease round so what we'll do is we'll use two stitches to make a decrease so in every stitch uh, we are going to make a decrease so starting with the first two stitches make a decrease so I'm using the first two stitches to make my first decrease use the next two stitches to make the next decrease like that you will have a total of eight single crochet once you finish off this round so make your eight single crochet or eight invisible decreases so here I have completed eight single crochet at this point of time I'm just going to cut my yarn okay and I'll just take this out now we'll use a yarn needle to weave in the ends or to close the gap okay so we have a small gap here so what we'll do is we will go through all the front loops of the eight stitches and then we'll close it off so find the front loop of all the stitches just go through it once only through the front loop so this is the front loop So this is the last one okay so I have gone through all the eight stitches here once you are done you just pull on this end so it will close see it just closes so you can just tightly tug on it and then you can go through it once I'm just going to make a knot here and then push my needle out through any other stitch okay and you can cut this off all right so there our head is done okay now we have to make the ears so for the ears also we are going to start with a magic circle so make your magic circle first then chain one and start with six single crochet so make six single crochet into the magic circle one two three four five and one more six so we are going to start with six single crochet and then the round two is same as we did for everything we are going to make an increase round so we are going to put two single crochet in every stitch so we'll start around two okay, this is a bit tight okay so into the first stitch go there and make two single crochets so this is one in the same stitch make another one so this is your increase come to the next stitch again put two single crochet like this in every stitch make two single crochet and you'll end up with 12 single crochet after round two 
so here I am at the end of round 2 we will start round 3 now round 3 and 4 is the same you are just going to put one single crochet in every stitch so just put one single crochet in each of these stitches for round 3 and round 4 and both round 3 and round 4 you will have a total of 12 single crochet so I will just complete round 3 and round 4 making just one single crochet and then we will join the ears so here I have finished uh, round 3 and round 4 and this is how the ears look I have just cut my yarn here uh, when you cut it make sure to cut a long tail so you will need two of these okay now we'll join this to the head part okay okay so now we'll join the ears so for that what I'm doing is from the top one two three so between the third and fourth I have placed my ears and I'm going to stitch this up so I have already joined my yarn needle here and I'm going to go through one stitch at a time from the ears to the body so just take your time to do this and stitch this up one stitch from the ears and go down into the head part pick up a stitch and come out like that you can just go around it and stitch this up so here I have attached both the ears and our teddy bear is done um, if you want you can add a key ring to it and make it into a cute little keychain also so yeah that was the tutorial how to do this amigurumi teddy bear i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed making it and if at all you are making one uh, please do tag me in your pictures i'll leave all my social media handles in the description box uh, if you're looking for some other crochet patterns or amigurumi patterns like the really simple without much stitching and sewing i do have a few patterns on my channel so i'll put a playlist in the description box you can check on that link so that was it for today's tutorial. See you in another video. Until then, bye-bye. Thank you for